Hi there, my name is Margaret Ortheim, registered dietitian nutritionist and author of Breaking the Sugar Habits. And today I wanna to talk to you about how you can manage the sugary sweets over the holidays. So the average American gains about one to two pounds over the holidays, and while that really might not seem like very much, it can really add up over the years. We all know we have the best of intentions that come January 1st, we'll stop eating all the sugar and we'll eat healthy and we'll exercise, but oftentimes that one to two pounds never comes off. And year after year, that one to two pounds continues to add up. So the healthier that you can eat over the holidays, the better. And so today I wanna to share with you some tips on how to manage your sugar intake during the holidays. Because of any time of year, the holidays tend to be just loaded with uh, sugary treats everywhere you look. So I think it can be tempting to think, oh, I'll just exercise more. I can just exercise it away. Oftentimes the extra exercise doesn't always happen during the busy holiday season. And the other problem is that uh, we can't just exercise away the unhealthy food that we eat. It can be really tempting to think about it that way. You often hear people talk about calories in and calories out. It's really just a simple equation. If you burn more calories than you take in, you'll lose weight. I wish it were that simple. I wish human beings could be reduced to math problems, <laughs> especially easy subtraction problems. But really, we're much more complicated than that. We have hormones like cortisol and thyroid hormones that really can govern our metabolism and determine whether or not we lose weight. So weight is not the only issue. Even if you're normal weight, you don't want to be overindulging in sweets over the holidays because it can really leave you feeling moody and overall just really tired. And then when the holidays are over, because you've been having so much sugar, it really leads you to crave sugar even more. So the holidays can actually be a really good time to try to learn to learn strategies and ways to help manage your sugar intake and reduce your sugar intake. So I have three main tips for you today. And the first one is to use natural sweeteners. And natural sweeteners really still are sugar, so we do need to use them sparingly, but I prefer to use sweeteners like maple syrup, honey, molasses, and dates because they have some nutrient and antioxidant content. And in the case of dates, there is some fiber. Um, as compared to refined white sugar, which is highly processed um, and really has no nutrient content whatsoever. So there's a lot of different things that you can do um, with recipes using some of these natural sweeteners. And number two is to try experimenting with some alternative flours. So a lot of the traditional holiday recipes like pies and cookies use white flour. And luckily now you see more and more recipes using alternative flours like coconut flour, almond flour, and even flaxseed. Flaxseed really isn't a flour, but it can often, um, it often has some properties that are similar to flour. So if you go on my website, margaretworthimrd.com, you'll find a recipe for almond butter brownies. And in that recipe, I use flaxseed basically as a flour. So I can still see the uh, crusted over page of the joy of cooking with the rich roll cookie recipe that we used to use when I was a kid for making cutout cookies. And boy, did I love cutout cookies. And luckily now there are recipes using almond flour and natural sweeteners instead of the white sugar and white flour that really make sugar cookies a uh, double whammy. Number three is try using dark chocolate. So 70% cocoa or higher is your best bet because the higher the cocoa content, it tends to be the lower the sugar content. So especially if you're making a recipe that already has another sweetener in it and then you're adding either melted chocolate or chocolate chips, it can be really helpful to use a 70% cocoa or even higher, like an 85 or 90% cocoa. So you can buy the chocolate chips or even a, if you're using just melted chocolate, you can buy the bars of dark chocolate. So those are the three main tips for your holiday baking. The first one being use 
natural sweeteners such as dates, molasses, honey, and maple syrup. And number two, use some alternative flours like coconut flour, almond flour, and flaxseed. And number three, use dark chocolate, 70% cocoa or higher. Now I know you may be thinking, it's the holidays, it only comes one time a year, can I just uh, enjoy some treats? Well the holidays actually tend to span, or actually the holidays span a pretty long period of time. Um, you know, basically about a couple of months. So that's a pretty big, um, pretty big part of the year for us to really be overindulging. The other thing is that we don't want to set ourselves up to, you know, pack on the pounds or get ourselves into um, unhealthy eating habits that are really hard to undo once the new year comes around. It tends to be that the more sugar we eat, the more we crave it. So if you can have some treats that are lower in sugar and lower in refined flour, you'll be ahead of the game. You won't be having all these sugar cravings as the holidays wind down. So this is, can be a really um, great thing to focus on for the holidays this year. You still get to enjoy some treats, but how about some healthier treats? I'm really excited about what I have for you next in the next video, which is I am going to make over a popular holiday recipe into a low sugar treat that everyone, that most everyone will love. So um, I will be showing you how to make that recipe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video or on Facebook. Thank you so much, and I will see you in video number two.